Hello everybody, Andrew Majewski here with Dental L. So let's talk about um, starting your cooking class. So even if you're a new consultant or just one who has been doing this for a while, maybe you have signed up just for the kit for yourself, but now you're actually thinking, oh, let me hold some cooking classes since I'm at home doing nothing. How does that work exactly? So you just probably haven't even started a cooking class yet. So I will show you guys how to do that and why. A lot of people think it's a lot of work. It's not. Literally, all you have to do is click, you know, start cooking class, make it for a month later, and then any orders you have, just add it under that cooking class. For those of your customers who like to order online, just give them that link. And then when they click that link, any of their orders will go under that cooking class. So let me just show you guys how to do that first. And then I'll explain more about, so you might not know who your host is going to be yet. So your host doesn't always have to be yourself, but I'm going to give you a little tip. Even if you make the host um, for yourself, you can change that later on. A lot of people think you can't. There's a way around it. I do it all the time. Okay, so let me just show you guys. So this is what things look like when you when you um, log in to my Epicure. Click on the three lines, and I just click on my cooking classes. So it will come up like this, and then just add a cooking class. So I actually add one for the U.S. and Canada just in case because you never know who will be watching. You never know what new customers might come into your um, um, Epicure page on Facebook. You just never know. So, and then click cooking class right here. I just always make the host me. And then I change it later, um, later on if I, if I do get enough orders. And then I decide to say, hey guys, who wants to be a host this month? I'll be doing a draw at the end of the month. Everybody who places a $30 plus order will get entered in and you can win a bunch of free stuff. So that can happen later. So for now, just host the class um, as yourself. And I always pick it for a month later. So it's the May 12th today. Let's do it for June 12th. I just pick any time um, and I will pick Canada for now. And I just always choose online. I have never done an in-person cooking class. So I just always pick online anyway. And now since that's all we can do, kind of makes sense. So just click add cooking class. So you, you will see it typically, it's not always at the top I find. So I just look for the one that I had done. So I had said that it will be closing for June 12th, there you go. Um, but this is why I did this. So you don't want it out to be too far because then you won't be able to add in your order. So you can change it. So you just have to click edit. Um, so a month is too far. So I forget how, how far it can't be. So let's just do say June the 9th and see if that lets me add the order. Um, where are we here? So see how now I can have the option to add order. That's the main thing because you don't want to start a cooking class if you can't add orders yet, because what will happen is somebody will say, oh, okay, perfect. Can I place an order? And you're thinking, oh, well, I can't order anything yet. People don't want to wait. So make sure you can add the order. Um, but I want to show you guys first another thing that you guys have to know. So if you guys click on view details, this, um, this will give you your link. Just copy this, you guys, and post it everywhere. Like I will simply um, do a post in my Facebook page and I will say something like, hey, um, whoever wants to place an order, this is the link for this month. Um, if we get enough orders, then I can do a draw for a mystery hostess where that one person will get all of the free stuff. You know, you can say that or keep it simple and say, hey, if anybody wants to order, here is the link. You can order online or tell me your order and then I can order it for you. So you might, so you might be wondering, okay, well, how do, I, how do I place an order then? So let's say a customer says to you, oh, can I order this and this and this and this? Perfect. So you can do it one of two ways. So I, I'm, I'm actually going to go back to the My Cooking Class menu. 
um, because that's probably what you will be looking for when you want to place the order. So look for your cooking class and add order. Simple. So do you have multiple customers in the same household or do you have multiple customers who say that they want to pick up from you? If that's the case, then you want this one here. Or if it's just one customer who says, I just want to place an order to have it shipped to me easy, then it would be the second one, okay? So let's say you have a bunch of customers who want to order and ship it to your house. Click the, fir um, click the first one, yes. So this can get confusing. So I'm just gonna briefly mention it. So when your cooking class qualifies, your hostess or yourself has the option of picking the host um, exclusive plus using all of their free products then and there. So that's excellent. Whereas before we used to have to do it where we would have to place all of the orders for the cooking class, close the cooking class, and then the host would have a separate order to use um, all of their free product credit. The problem with that was that the host would have to pay extra shipping and, and a lot of people don't want to do that. But the nice thing about that is if the host is thinking, well, I don't want anything else yet, can I place my order in a couple weeks when I know what I want? Yes. So the question is, will your host want to use their free products right away and have it shipped at the same time? Or will they need time to think about it and then it will be shipped separately? So that's something to think about, something to ask your, your host. If you are the host or you're not sure who your host is, then I suggest having it be placed at another time just because you don't want to tell your host if you do pick one, oh, well, you have to pick all of your free products now. Um, they might not want to now, who knows? So I always say no, unless I know who the host is. Um, okay, so this is for adding your customer. So I'm just going to pick one here um, that I have saved for everybody. There we go. So this is what it looks like. And then just add your free you know, products. You can just pick here, add here, and I always add a catalog, you guys. It can't hurt. I mean, if they had just placed an order last week, you probably don't have to give them another catalog, but they might want to give the catalog to somebody else. So I do always add a catalog. So just add in the items that they want. Let's say that's what they want. And then you can see them right here. Um, I'm missing, it's not funny, I'm missing like a move forward button. Oh, it's way at the bottom, sorry guys. So then I go to shipping. So you don't know the price yet because they haven't added up the tax. So when I first started, I wouldn't go to the next page. I would just sort of give them this price and that's not a good idea because they haven't added up taxes yet. So check the address here. Um, to make sure it's the proper one, if it's being shipped to you, being shipped to somebody else. I, I mean, in this case, we don't know if it's being shipped to you or shipped to them, but just make sure that you have the right address. Um, click review and pay, and then there you go. What I like to do, you guys, is I like to take a picture with my cell phone. I take a picture of their order. And I say, can you just confirm that this is the right order? Just so they can't say later, oh, I didn't mean to order that. Or, oh, I, I had asked for two of this and, and you only gave me one. It happens, right? So take a picture and take a picture also of their address and say, just to confirm, is this the right one? Um, I also take a picture of their price so that they can see how much was used for you know taxes all of that um, i don't charge my customers for a catalog you can that is totally fine um epicure says you know they would prefer it if you pay for your customer but it's totally up to you um, just take a picture let them know their price and there you go so to add payment it can be from a credit card cash e-transfer easy. Um, if you pick cash, check, or, or um, e-transfer, then it will come out of your account, 
okay? Um, because when you had signed up with Epicure, you had entered in your account details. If it's a credit card, they will um, ask you to fill in that info. When you process this order, it will not close the cooking class. So that's what a lot of people are concerned about. They don't want to close the cooking class by processing their order. And they think, well, I'm going to wait to process the orders because if I click payment, if I, if I submit it, then that closed the cooking class. They don't have the $250 in sales yet. It's not going to close your cooking class. Your cooking class will actually close automatically, um, so you don't have to worry about it um, three days after that date that you had set. So don't worry. Um, and, the, and the only other way, so I'm just going to go back. The only other way, you guys, to um, close your cooking class is to do it from the other page. Um, and you don't want to do that anyway. But hold that thought, because I want to also show you guys that if you're having people, um, different customers ship to the same address, this is how you would add another customer being sent to the same address. So I'm just gonna enter in um, another name here. So see how this is, this is another customer. If you click on the line here, you can see the different customers right there. So this is how they can save on shipping. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to save the order for later, like just to kind of show you guys how it turns up. So this always looks very confusing. Um, so I go back to my cooking classes and then I go back to that cooking class. I click on view details and see how you can see under the one line, two different customers here. So let's say for Tom, he wants to add something else or for Teddy, they they want to add something else. So you just click on continue order. And if you haven't processed it yet, you can add other things. So the name is up here. I'm just going to pick something here so you can add that anytime. Um, but let's say Teddy, he wants to add something else and you have not processed the order yet. Um, you would just click on Teddy and then um, go up to the products tab, which is here now, and just click what they want. There you go. And then just make sure to click on the, um, the next page, which I think is the shipping page. Yep, uh, the shipping. And then just keep clicking through until you get the final payment. Always make sure the address is correct. And notice how you can see what every customer did order their amount of the tax and their amount of the shipping. So that's how things are a lot cheaper. And notice how for, for um, Tom here, since he just ordered the one product, why should he pay more shipping, right? So his shipping is a lot less than Teddy who did order a lot more, but it's still not the full shipping price. So they're kind of sharing the shipping price. So that is nice. People love to save on shipping. So does that help you guys? And really quick, if you guys go up to my cooking classes again, if for some reason you want to close your cooking class because you have hit that $250 in sales, you can do that here. So you just have to sort of um, move the mouse over and then click close here. Um, even if you click view details, I think you can close it here too. So close right here, but always pay attention, you guys pay um, pay attention to your level of sales because you don't want to close a cooking class before you have four customers and $250 in sales, okay? You might have that happen even if you're not expecting it. So don't close it until it's time to, to you know, have that happen because um, customers could come in any time. Um, a little tip for you guys, let's say you have three customers and you have over $250 in, um, in sales. You need four customers. Add your husband as a customer. I do that all the time. Add your sister as a customer and say you're sending her something because that extra order, you will get all of those free stuff anyway. So why not? Um, or just simply have something shipped to your husband and then use it for yourself, sell it later on. Why not, right? So a little tip for you guys. But let me know if you guys have any questions about that. Um, I hope that that did help. 
And it is always a good idea to do that every month. I do that every month. I just, I just leave it open for the whole month because I never know who's, who's going to order, right? Um, so I hope that helped. Thank you guys. And let me know if you have any questions.